Okay, we're back. Colonel. I'm assuming that's in reference to the little small Kurma we got here. I guess it's going to be on Hinata. Hinata. Himawari to develop this into a big popcorn seed. Big old Kurma. But right now we got a little chibi. I haven't said that word since like fucking eighth grade. Uh, we got chibi Kurma. All right. They must know they can't outrun us, perhaps they're changing the field of battle to reduce harm to their village. I like the little shadow on Sasuke tail beast here. <laughs> Kona Hamaru. This might as well just be nobody, man. I'm like, you got Kona Hamaru who got fucking necked by that big beefy motherfucker that was trying to, like, eat motherfuckers' heads out of a car, uh, car. You got necked by that dude. What the hell is he gonna do? And you got some, uh, a bunch of other nobodies that I don't even fucking know who they are. So they're pretty much using them as using Himawari as like kind of cattle. They really got a bunch of nobodies doing at this point. Like, if you think about like dudes with R, they had Kakashi. I don't really use R in the dicky way. They had Kakashi. They had Guy. Um, you know, I'm talking about OG, you know, Naruto. You know, Jiraiya was always kind of like somewhere in the cut. You know, Tsunade was, you know, somebody. Um, you know, I mean, Asuma, you know, like, Kor, what's that, Koronai? Koronai is like the name of like the, there's also like the, the, the Genjutsu specialist. I forgot, I think it was Koronai. They had, they had some guys with some real fucking, you know, presence. So there's some real Joni. They got Kona Homer. This dude's a fucking joke, man. And I know someone's going to be like, oh, if the power is going, he's like stronger than they ever were. It's like, I don't give a fuck about the power is going. If you put Kakashi, if Kakashi got fucking negged by, uh, Zabaza in the first arc, got his ass kicked by Itachi in like three seconds. You know, that that Kakashi, that's the Kakashi, you know. I think he'd still fuck up any version of Konohama. Alright, let's just get that out right now. You just got mad people that can just fly, dude. That's crazy to think about. Like, just flying, just casually just getting up and just dragging balls seeing it. Anyway, so he has to kind of like stick to his gimmick so to speak <laughs> oh that's my sister that's my sister hmm Barto definitely is spooked whenever karma gets karmaging same as Jorah okay you might have said that already I just fucking forgot why in the world do they interfere with us using an exact tone ask them yourself oh so we're gonna get to see Sasuke go a little bit crazy okay Sasuke let's go let me, see, let me see that. Let me see that shot Rini gone real quick, Sasuke. You're also no no easy. What business do you have with us? I would be very surprised if this guy's been voiced by Sasuke in the anime. Because if you think about like Goku and Goku Black, which is my only precedent for this, really, um, <laughs> is they were both voiced by uh, Sean Shimmel. Uh So I assume, based on that one piece of examples, that uh, they'll voice Sasuke as. Yeah, Sasuke able to tell beast as well. I was told by one of the two trespassers. I was told that one of the two trespassers was Sasuke. And uh, here we go. His chakra data is the exact match that for Chia Sasuke. Are you deaf or feeble minded? And uh, this should be Sarda. Uchiha Sarda. And this is the one that he wanted. I guess he's going to probably devour her. You know, devour or whatever. How, do, how heavy do you think those fucking, like, little things are? I know these would be, like, part of fashion, like, 40, 50 years ago, the 70s. But how heavy do you think those really are on the, on the, uh, the ankles? So Sasuke, uh, Sarda. Met a, met a lot quicker than I thought they would, by the way. Code really fucked up. Like, giving them his uh, little strap-on fucking ability just really just made them overpowered as hell, dude. Can she read Chidori? She can. Three to most, she can react to Chidori. That's pretty crazy. She can use Chidori as well, of course, as you would imagine by this point. Damn, dude. Her three to most, like, she's reading basically a Tail Beast level thing that I don't know if necessarily wanted to kill her, but he did use Chidori, which is not uh, a light ability. And um, she reacted to that. 
Naruto was beating the shit out of Sasuke with one tailed beast cloak. With his one tailed cloak. And Sasuke was just like using three to mode kind of base form. They are a lot stronger than, they used to, than, than the old guard was. Let's just say that. They, they are a lot stronger than they were. I guess the most accurate comparison though would be like her against Sasuke post time skip. Because this is sorry to post time skip. Anyway, we're, they're stronger. Anyway, just fuck it. We'll, we'll keep it going. Chidori. She connected at least. So she racked it to a tail beast level threat and hit him with Chidori. Sorry, that's a fucking beast, dude. Just like mine and dad's. Who are you? Are we going to get to see him take off his fucking hood? I think I should tell everybody pretty quickly what we're dealing with here. Well, Ninetales is fine, too. Kuramar, Ninetales. Let's go. You and I are single body and soul. Oof. Okay. Okay. It's not just chalker here. It's an actual being, you know? She could, uh... That motherfucker's moving pretty fast, huh? <laughs> we need that backup now. What backup? What backup are you getting that can stop that damn thing from fucking you guys up immediately? As you just said, my previous self coexisted inside your father, Uzumaki Naruto, but in the midst of battle, my flame of life was extinguished. However, death is not eternal for us, Biju. Even if our flesh or soul perishes over time, a kernel of us will sprout somewhere and we will manage to return to life. So. That is something that, like, was expressed in previous parts of OG Naruto, is that, like, you can't really kill a Biju. And the reason why... So, with Kor uh, Korma, Kushina, when it's like, okay, can we kill Kushina? It's like, that wouldn't do anything because the tail beast would pop back up somewhere, right? I don't know I don't know who that was floated by, like, when that came up, but basically, anytime a Jinchuriki had to take the chance to be, like, just killed... They didn't do that because the beach would come back in a state that isn't controllable by, you know, the Kotsky or the people who are the handlers for the Jinchuriki, any of that stuff. What this allows for when you, I'm not going to explain it, the fucking, <laughs> when the Kotsky would take out Jinchuri, uh, the, the, the Biju from Jinchuriki, I'm not going to explain all that shit. Let's just go along with the thought that at some point you kill a, a Biju, comes back. Let's just go with that. No one knows how long it will take or where it might sprout, much less that it will be inside his daughter and this soon. So, perfect timing. Let's just say that. Perfect timing. Great coincidence. The universe is full of mysteries. You may have been born inheriting a sliver of my chakra, or this was your destiny brought into being by the Uzumaki and Yuga blood that flows within you, or flows within you. Since it's already awakened, the how doesn't matter. It's what's more important is stepping circumstances moving forward, don't you think? I'm Uzumaki Himawari. Nice to meet you, Koruma. She handled that a lot better than Naruto did. I'll say that. <laughs> Naruto's under different circumstances, of course. The only thing I was going to say, I, I mentioned, I'd like literally spend like a minute and a half, like giving an example of what I was thinking here. But yeah, so basically, I thought that with Naruto producing a kid while. Still being a Jinchuriki, some of Kurama's juice went into his sperm, basically. Now, the theory was a little bit gooberish because why would Himarari get it and not Bar? So, as, Bar, as Kurama is explaining, though, it's pretty much all a chance. The chance might have been increased because they both probably had some Jinchuriki chakra in them. You know, I don't know. It's probably no good reason why it was Baruto, uh, not Baruto, and it was Himawari. They both have the same parents, obviously. But it worked out. Kurama do something. Okay, let's see. I, I want to see. I want to see a cloak real quick. Give me a cloak. So you can just fire off those tail beast bombs just pretty quickly. Rapid dose, as one might say. All right. Big body, uh, what's her name? I don't know. It's, it's show something. Is it Chojin? It might be Chojin. I don't know. We'll just call her, call her Big Body. Chocho. Okay, sure. We'll call her Chocho. A true shame to have to dispose dispose of you. 
But it can't be helped he chose his fate. The only way we can do something about this is you. It should be a no-brainer. Whether you use or quash my powers is all up to you. You said like it's easy, but how am I supposed to? Oh! I can sense your chakra has a higher affinity to mine than any of your other predecessors, more than even Naruto's. So get rid of any foolish preconceived biases. First off, you need to believe in yourself. Otherwise, your future doesn't look bright either way. So kind of like um, Hinata. Like, it's the thing where, like, she just has to believe that she's the guy or the girl in the situation. And she can just do whatever the fuck she wants to do. She can beat the shit out of a Biju. Where's her backup? Let's go. God damn. This fucker fucking lit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, that healing factor of a Jinchuri keep my help her out, but her whole fucking legs got snapped, and this isn't exactly the grown man Koruma. It might not be the best case scenario. <laughs> At least she went for it, man. Gotta be honest, she went for it, dude. You call it devour, but you simply become nourishment for me inside this tree. It isn't painful. There's no need for you to be afraid. Including that fractured leg of yours. You know, Jin. You know, just a real ass dude, man. Shikamaru and Chocho just standing there. She could, she could die. Hey, man. I fuck with you, know, Jin, man. Let go of her. Ooh. Ooh. That's why you can't touch motherfuckers' feet out here, man. I leave niggas' feet out of it. The thing known as aesthetics. What the, what the fuck is he talking about, man? <laughs> Hold on, I think I read about this somewhere. Could this be the thing known as aesthetics? Anyway, as you can tell, she's probably about to go like, kind of like Naruto when Sasuke got fucked up. She's about to go crazy. That's about to happen this page. Hmm. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a nice design I'm looking at there. I might, I might do another thumbnail real quick. Just another one. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. This is what I want to do. But I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. We got a couple. We got a couple to work with. That reminds me of Kushina. That's what that reminds me of. That's very Kushina adjacent. Damn. Because, like, you know, if you played uh, Storm 4 with Kushina, like, the hair would be, like, just flowing around when she's pissed. What is the sudden shift? Show you run amok some Himawari. So this probably, based on her still having some sentience, well, I, I can't give it a one more comparison because Naruto, when he went crazy, you know, an OG Naruto, like against, uh, he, uh, what was his name? Uh, the one I was with, I was, I can't believe I can't remember my motherfucker's name. Except for the H. Uh, when he went crazy against her, when he went crazy against Sasuke, that was him, like, losing control and Kurama, like, you know, kind of seeping in, taking control for a brief moment. This is, like, a still sentient Himawari that's, like, being not aided, because as he just says, like, he has no real control over what happens. He's just, like, a chakra reserve for Himawari. I guess the best comparison would probably be like the pre foretells Naruto where he still has some level of control over himself. He's just going fucking crazy. I think it's probably that's the most similar to this, you know. But yeah, even when Boof, man, what, what god damn it. Went Boof out here, dude. Crazy shit. I don't like her face in this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Her face looks like I don't know, like it's just design I don't know if it's the teeth. I think it's like she has like a small ass face, but she's like a lot going on in the face. Just the big ass teeth, the markings. I don't, you know, I don't think I'm a fan of that. I don't know. I just her face looks weird in that situation. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she does have nine tails, if you want to think about it like that. But it's it's just a cloak. It's just a cloak. Kind of kind of basically a cloak, more or less. Well, we're we're in a good spot. I would say we're in a very good spot right now with um with bard so what what's what's good is that we have multiple 
heroes that are interesting. That's the most important thing. We don't... What, what I want out of this is that we have multiple relevant non-Baruto, non-Kawaki heroes. I don't think Kawaki's a hero at this point, but we got Himawari, we got Sarada, who's reacting to effectively, you know, 10 tail level guys. Um, we have these other people who are, you know, strategically very adept. Like, you know, she could show very adept. Um, it's not the beginning to think of that really contributed to this battle right here, but you know, class president still there, you know, not doing much, but there. So we got, we got some people that matter. You know, we always got, we're going to get Naruto and Sasuke back at some point. They're going to be back in the fold. So we got non Baruto, non Kawaki people that matter. Uh, Mitsuki or Mitsuki remains to be seen. Remains to be seen what we got of him. He definitely appears to be strong. He does not appear to be in the same ballpark as Baruto, but Baruto has also basically negged Kawaki before Kawaki used Karma, so Baruto's in a different league than the rest of these motherfuckers, but I think Mitsuki will matter. Uh, he appears to have an ear in with Ida, so I think he'll matter. We got some interesting characters here. We got some depth. That's what we want. We want a rotation. We don't want LeBron 2018 and a bunch of nobodies. We want Cavs 2016. Very good team. Very good team. Anyway, that's it. I knocked out both of these back to back. God damn, dude. I'm good when I want to be good, man. What can I say? I'm going to get these edited and pushed out hopefully as soon as possible. Finally be caught up with bar so thank God. Um, hopefully we can catch up with JoJo Lands. I always want to say JoJo Land, but JoJo Lands one day, even though it probably like six chapters behind, but one day. Peace by peace. If you guys want me to do any other manga, I know Jujutsu Kaisen is going crazy. I have not read a single chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen, but I am caught up with the anime. I may watch it or read it. I may read it. I don't know. That, that That's one of those, like with Demon Slayer, like I can't imagine, based on what I've heard about the manga, that you're doing yourself a service by picking the manga over the anime. Like you got to watch that shit to really get the feel for it. I'm going off on a tangent. If you want anything for me to read or watch or whatever, just let me know. I'll do it. I don't give a fuck, man.